the Free Library of Philadelphia is pleased to offer tens of thousands of ebooks. In this video, I'll show you how to check out ebooks and transfer them to your Kindle via a USB connection. Transferring via USB is useful when a Wi Fi connection is not available, or if your Kindle does not have Wi Fi, or if restrictions against downloading via Wi Fi have been put in place by the publisher of the ebook you've checked out. Getting ebooks for the Kindle with Wi Fi, or for your Kindle Fire, your Nook, or your other e reader, or for your mobile device is a little different and is covered in other videos. To get started, you'll need a free library card, a Kindle with a USB cable, and a computer with an internet connection. If you do not have a home computer or access to the internet, you can visit any branch of the free library and download ebooks to your Kindle using our PCs. Start at our homepage, www.freelibrary.org. Then click Download Media. Of the five ebook platforms we offer, only Overdrive supports Kindle. Open the Overdrive site and find a book to check out. For this demonstration, I'll simply choose to browse all ebook fiction. Next, I click on the Available Now tab to see only those ebooks that are available for immediate download. Once you find a book, make sure it's available in the Kindle format. For our demo, I'll download Catherine Stockett's bestseller, The Help. Notice the note here indicating that the publisher of this book has restricted downloading from Amazon and only USB transfer is available. Click Add to Cart. Then, if you're done browsing for ebooks, click Proceed to Checkout. You'll be asked to sign in with your library card number and PIN. Next, you may choose your loan period. The free library allows you to choose a 21, 14, or 7 day loan. Click Confirm Checkout. And that's it. When you're ready to download, click Get for Kindle. You'll be redirected to the Amazon.com website to complete the process. In the drop down menu in the green box, you will see that due to the publisher's restrictions on downloading this ebook, the only delivery method available to you is transfer via computer. Click Get Library Book, and this dialog box pops up and asks me whether I want to save or open my new ebook. Depending on your computer's operating system, this dialog box may look different when you see it, though the principle will be the same. Click Save As. Then choose a location on your computer to save the file. I like to save library ebooks to the desktop because it makes it easier to find them later. But you can save your ebooks in any location you choose. Just remember to take note of where you're saving it. You'll need to find it soon. Then you can minimize your web browser and plug your Kindle in via the USB cable. Then go to your file locations. For those of you with a Windows machine, this will be the My Computer menu located at the Start button. Double click your Kindle to open it up. Then find the file folder called Documents and double click that. Once you have the Documents folder open, simply drag your new ebook into the folder. That's it. You can now eject your Kindle and start reading. Thanks for supporting digital media at the Free Library of Philadelphia.